But uh, anyway, I decided to go on Yahoo Messenger. I had a friend that was a Mason, and I just uh, I went on there looking for him. I must have deleted him because uh, he wasn't on there. But I went through the list anyway to people that I thought was him. I, I said, you know, I messaged him and I said, uh, are you a Mason? I used, did I used to talk to you? And um, I got a couple responses. And this one response was from this one guy. He said, I'm not a Mason, but I'm a Navy SEAL. I said, oh, okay. And he said, just out of the blue, I wish I had saved this conversation because all I asked him was, are you the Mason I used to talk to? And he said, no, I'm not a Mason. I'm a Navy SEAL. You know, the Masons, 90% of them are going to, 90% of them are gone. And I said, I was thinking, where did that come from? It is so crazy that I'm, you know, getting into all this and, uh, you know, getting into the New World Order and all that stuff. And then he comes out just out of the blue and says 90% are gone. And I said, I just said, yeah, I, I was researching about all that stuff and he said um yeah I know about all that too and I said uh well what he said well I can't tell you about a lot of it and I said of course because you're Navy still you're probably sworn to honor some kind of um oath or something you know intelligence security thing and uh he said yeah that's true and I said well what could you tell me and he started telling me about um, at the first of the year stuff is going to start going down like uh, bad things are going to start happening and I said like what and he said he couldn't tell me he just said you know you need to be uh, aware of things that are going to start happening and he said when Obama is elected to be president that's when everything's going to start happening and I said well what does Obama really have to do with it and then I thought, well, does it have to do with uh, Bush's dictatorship, you know, in case of uh, martial law or any kind of natural, I mean, uh, any kind of, yeah, natural disaster or state of emergency, he can declare himself dictator or something like that and um, just call off the elections and the new presidency altogether. Um, and then he started saying stuff like, yeah, the only way you're going to uh, survive all this stuff is if you just run and hide. And I said, well, there's caves and stuff around here and lots of woods. And he said, yeah, you can go hide in the cave or you can start digging now. And I said, well, will ammo help? And he said, it might help. And uh, he said, you need to start uh, stockpiling food. And, of course, they supposedly passed this law saying that you couldn't they found you stockpiling food, they're going to come and take it because uh, that way there's no kind of food shortages in case if something happens. Um, but anyway, I said, yeah, my husband's survivalist. We can pretty much, we pretty much have everything. Do we need iodine pills? Do we need radiation suits, gas masks? He said, no, you don't need any of that. And I said, well, that's good. And he said, um, just run and hide. And I was like, oh, God, you're really freaking me out. And then, uh, what else? And I was, I started kind of joking around about him, about aliens. And I said, he said, well, I can't tell you, you know, I can't say about any of that. You know, what am I running from? Am I running from, uh, uh, National Guard, martial law? Am I running from aliens? You know, scanning the ground for people to zap? You know, what am I running from? And he said, uh, I can't say. And then I started saying, he started saying that he's on a list and he's going to be, he's been chosen, he's on a list. Kind of like in Deep Impact when, er, you know, everybody was chosen to be a list and they were going to go in this underground facility. And uh, it's funny that he mentioned um, this uh, been chosen on a list like in Deep Impact. Um, and then I said, what in underground, you mean like the underground facilities in Colorado Springs or in that general area? Because I got that from uh, Dr. Deagle, you know, on, on his videos. And he said, well, I can't say where they are. And then he said, um, he said, he's going to be, he's going to go out west. That's how I got the idea that the underground facilities are out west and, you know, somewhere out there and then he starts saying I'm going to be at ground zero and I said well, why would you want to be at ground zero and he said I have no choice I have to be there you know that's 
part that's my job and I said well you can run and hide too and he said well we have equipment we can to help us uh, along this ride that we're going to be taking at ground zero or whatever and I said well first you said you were going out west and then you said you were going to be at ground zero so I'm I said so ground zero is going to be out west and he said I can't say um, and then um, he said he started going on and telling me that um, you need you need to stop we need to stop having this conversation I'm gonna get in trouble and I said um, okay and he started mentioning you know court martial and stuff I said okay we can stop talking and he said thank you and uh, that thank you kind of uh, you know made this thing kind of real so I don't know what's going on I don't know if he was bullshitting me he was kind of bullshitting me there a little bit you know kind of I don't know throw me off the subject maybe but um I got all that stuff out you need to go to YouTube and uh, look for Alex Collier's videos Dr. Deagle's videos any kind of whistleblower like that I'm not telling you to believe what they say but a lot of stuff that they say is really out there and I'm thinking a long time ago uh, I thought to myself you know why not why not all this stuff that's starting to come out why not it be true I mean we're just cloaked with this we're just blinded by all this stuff that's on CNN and Fox I've we don't know what to believe and there's so many people out there that don't actually go out there and look for the truth at least I'm looking for the truth